Hey everybody, it's InnoVision, and I've got something so exciting to share with everybody. I've got the Xbox full screen experience running on my OG Z1 Extreme ROG Ally, and I'm in the process of setting it up on my Legion Go as we speak. In today's video, I will share examples of the Xbox full screen experience up and running. I'll also share who may wanna go ahead and try the experience now or who may wanna wait but more importantly, I'll tell you what this experience is and what it is not. I will show everyone a full step-by-step -step guide how to enable that experience on any handheld gaming PC. Heck, this should even work on your desktop or laptop PC. Now I want everyone to keep in mind that this software is beta, it is in progress, it's not finished. Stick around, because you don't want to miss any of it. Now I want to take a moment to talk about what this experience is and what it isn't. Remember, the Xbox full screen experience is going to be shipping on the Xbox branded Ally devices in October this year. What we will see is a Windows that starts up and rather than immediately booting into Windows Explorer, it's going to start the Xbox app in full screen and all other services that are not related to running the Xbox app are not running. And so there is a little bit of a reduction in the memory footprint there. You know, I've been seeing folks on Reddit saying, oh, you know, I've got like a five or 10% performance improvement. That's just not physically possible. We do not live in a universe where that's possible with the software we have here today. The other thing I really want to call out here, this requires you to use the preview or beta channel of the Windows operating system. So you have to be a Windows insider, and it's real easy, I'll show you where you can do that. And unlike SteamOS, where you can effortlessly switch between release, beta, and preview, in Windows, if you pick preview, you're committed to preview. You cannot change back to the release train. And the only way to get back on the release train is to completely wipe your device and reinstall Windows. And so any of our subscribers or people who follow along in our videos who have went through the trouble of setting their dual boot setup and have it all working, I would highly recommend you do not mess with this. Just observe and wait until this becomes release and production ready code. But the good news here is anybody that's on an OG Legion Go will be able to run this experience because I know I've had several members of the community being concerned whether or not their OG Legion Go will be able to run this experience. Don't worry. And just a few days ago, the Xbox app was updated to integrate all your game libraries in one place. So now I can access my Steam games, my Epic games, all in the Xbox app. And so when you couple that with the Xbox full screen experience, it really does start to give you something that really does feel like Steam OS in the sense that you have all your games in one place. And there's a couple things that are still left to be desired. This Xbox full screen experience does not fix the sleep, wake and resume cycle on Windows. So everyone knows that Steam OS performs way better in that aspect that you can put your console to sleep, wake it back up, you can start your game back up. These problems are not resolved by this software. But again, just remember, this is a work in progress. This is a huge improvement over what it used to be for our gaming handhelds. All right, so I have a fresh install of Windows here. And one thing I wanna just emphasize again, once you commit to the preview or the beta channel, you cannot go back to the stable release channel unless you reinstall Windows. So if you really want to test this, know that you're going to be having to reformat your device if you want to get back to stable release of Windows. And so the first thing you want to do is just make sure all your Windows updates are up to date. And so we're going to just check here. Everything's up to date. And so now we're going to type in the search bar here, Insider, because you have to be part of the Windows Insider program. And so we're going to go here to Windows Insider program settings. There's an easy onboarding process. So here we're just going to click get started. We're going to link an account. And so now we're going to pick which channel we want. In our case, I'm going to go with the dev channel just because the latest and greatest. Now that I switch to the dev channel, I can't go back to beta or preview release. This is going to take a little while to download. I'm going to let it roll. All right. So we're already on the latest build. Go to gaming here and we don't see it, but there's an option that'll show up under gaming for full screen gaming, full screen Xbox experience. And so if it doesn't show up here, I'm about to show you the next steps that we're gonna do. So we'll go to this repository here and just download the latest release, which is this one here. So I already have it downloaded. 
we're going to just go to the downloads folder right click on it and do extract all for simplicity I'm just going to copy this to my C drive we can delete it after the fact you can put it anywhere you want but this is just to make life a little bit easier so I'm pasting it here on the C drive we're going to open a command prompt as administrator so I type the word CMD and then right click on it and say run as administrator it's going to ask are you sure we're in the command prompt that we're running as administrator we're going to type in CD capital C colon slash and then now we can type in DIR to see all the folders there and so we're going to CD into V all right and so now we're just going to type DIR again and we can see the exe file that we're going to be using in the description of the video I'm going to have the commands that we're going to need all right so I'm going to grab the first command copy that and then I'm going to right click to paste it in my command prompt then hit enter and it's saying it was successful and so I'm going to grab the next command paste in our command prompt hit enter it was successful so now we can close the command prompt the next thing we're going to want to do is open the windows registry but before I do that I'm going to grab this path because this is the path that we're going to want to open in the windows registry so I'm just copying that we're going to type in reg edit and then hit enter all right, so when you open it, it's going to look something like this. We can actually search for the key. So we're going to delete everything that's in that search bar here and then paste it in there and hit enter. And now we are in the key. And you can see that it's selected already here. So we actually picked computer, H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, OEM, or original equipment manufacturer and now we're gonna double click on device form the default value is 2 and we're using hexadecimal as our base we want this to be 2 E and then you can hit OK and once that's done you can hit, click file and then exit now we just need to restart our Legion Go and once it's restarted we'll have the option to use the full screen experience or in the gaming options alright so now we're gonna to wanna to go into settings and then under the gaming options would you look at that full screen experience so we're gonna click in here and right now our home app is none we're gonna to wanna to change this to the Xbox app and then we wanna enter full screen mode on startup so we'll toggle that on that is all set so now we can exit this and restart our Legion Go again but this time we should be in the full screen experience and the first thing you'll notice is we can actually enter our pin right here using our controller just like you would on an Xbox. All right, so I've got my pin entered. The Lenovo button mapping still work. So I've got my brightness control here. And typically I play with the balance TDP settings. Sometimes I use custom with it being 17 watts. We're running off of the Windows development channel and I'm using the Xbox Insider version of the Xbox app. There you have it. We showed you how to enable the Xbox full screen experience on any gaming PC, whether it's a handheld, desktop PC, or laptop. All you need is a game controller and the right version of the software. I can't emphasize it enough, if you've already gone through setting up a dual boot setup on your device, I would just wait to catch this on the release train. It's not worth having to reinstall Windows if things start to get unstable. Just wait for that release build. Who all out there is about to try it? Hit me up, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the experience. Also, keep me informed on what you all would like to see next. Be sure to hype the video, like it, and subscribe so you don't miss all the amazing toys and gaming tips we've got coming down the pipeline.